Hey guys, we're here for my creative year, my muse for September. What is driving my muse crazy right now? So many things. So many things right now. Ay ay ay. So one of the things that's driving her crazy, and I've been post I did just posted about it today on social media. Ay ay ay. I just lately have trouble seeming to be able to throw things away. <laughs> so these are little holographic and metallic bits of product packaging. These are, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell or not, but there is definitely a rainbow reflection in them. So probably I would call that hollow. Uh, Christine over at Simply Neological would be the better one to judge. But I think these are the end of toothpaste tubes. Colgate to be specific <laughs> and this is just a metallic silver box top to my night cream I you know these should just go in the trash but you see the bright shiny metallic thing and my muse goes oh wait a minute <laughs> and so then I end up saving them let me go get something and show you guys okay so these are the bits and pieces I just showed you a minute ago. <laughs> so this is a blue plastic vintage, I guess you call it vintage, um, Gerber baby foods bowl. Where are we? This was um, in my grandmother's things when she passed away. It's something that she fed all of her grandchildren out of as we were growing up. And um, there were a number of them, and each one of us, granddaughters and my daughter, actually, we each took one. And so I keep these um, crystals here uh, in the kitchen window, and these, these two rocks. This one looks like a musket ball, doesn't it? Um, I have a thing for crystals and stones. That's for another video, but anyway, they're all over the place. And when it sits in the kitchen windowsill, and it was intended to just hold my collection of rocks and crystals I wanted in the kitchen, and slowly but surely, as things come up, and I'm going through things in the kitchen or throwing things away, I see something, ooh, that's interesting, it goes in the bowl. And then, you know, I think, oh, wait, that's interesting, it goes in the bowl. So by the end of the week, usually, the dish looks something like this. <laughs> and. I just can't seem to help myself. So right now my muse is just all about saving weird bits of things that normal people would throw away, and I don't. Um, these are from ice cream. So Haagen-Dazs has these little tiny baby ice creams that you can get. They're just enough for one serving. They actually come with a little spoon in the lid. And um, so I've been saving the lids and the spoons, and actually I've saved a couple of the bottoms too. I'm gonna try, since they're wax coated on the inside, I'm gonna try washing them out and see what happens. But, and they're in the sink right now, but, or they'd be in here. Um, but I just thought this was an interesting shape, and it sort of reminded me of like a vase. See with the flowers coming out this end? So I might at some point use it on a journal page or a paper clip, so look for that. And then of course, as we were eating ice cream, you know, I just can't help myself. And then at some point I was like, ooh, maybe I should just save the lid. Maybe I can do something with that. So, you know, it just goes in the dish. Now they're up here, so I should just keep them up here. Um, so, and this is just, I had a little baby quiche for dinner last night. And this is the, I do have a few of these around. Um, this is the round um, label nutrition bit and directions from the bottom of the package of that. Um, they make actually a good um, stencil or you know circle pattern you can trace around it to draw circle shapes things like that so anyway so right now my muse is all about trash evidently let me just zoom out for a little bit for you guys oops wrong way so right now my muse is all about trash saving the trash using it in my artwork if you follow me on social media and you've seen any of my paper clips you know that I used lots of recycled bits in them. I'll insert a couple of pictures here for you all. Um, a lot of trash, if you will, ends up in them. And um, I just find it interesting, an interesting sort of source of art bits. So right now, repurposing and recycling what I can and creating art with it 
I'm all about that. In fact, here's two more pieces that came upstairs recently. This is an empty jar of puffy eye cream. That It's actually a glass jar. I probably could recycle it, but it's a cute little glass jar that would make a good um, little um, jar to put um, some pig, mix some pigments in or something. And then this jar, actually this is the lid. It had an insert though. And this jar, does, the lid doesn't have threads on it, so the lid doesn't actually fit. But I thought I should be able to do something with that. So trash, saving trash. What weird bits do you all save? I'd love to know. If you're part of my creative uh, year, um, let's start a thread about it over there. And let me know um, what sort of things you can do this month with the theme of atmospheric and the challenge of... Uh, sorry, atmosphere and the challenge of confidence um, and involving your trash. Um, if nothing else, are you confident enough in yourself and your art and your abilities and your creativity to admit, I save trash and I use trash in my art. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't be ashamed of it. So I'd love to know where you can take this if you're not part of my creative year and you would like to be. The link for it and my other Facebook art groups, where to find me and stalk me as my friend Shannon Green would say on social media. Um, where to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the art groups. All of that can be found in my link tree list of links, which is in the description below, along with my happy mail address and any other relevant links. So check it out. And above all, um, take, I was going to say something else, but take a second look at your trash and it, is it interesting enough for you to maybe do something with it in your art? I'm not saying fill up your art space with trash. You don't need more than a few of this and that. Don't save 20 million bottle caps because you think you can do something with them. I'm guilty of that. I have this bag of bottle caps in the closet I've got to do something with. Um, meaning that I'm going to sell them in the Etsy shop or something because it's just crazy and ridiculous. Anyway, don't clutter up your art space with trash, but save a few interesting bits and pieces and what can you do with them and use them up and create some interesting art with them. I'd love to see what kind of bits and pieces you're all finding and what you're doing. Again, say something over in the uh, Facebook group, my, uh, my Creative Year, and share with all of us what your thoughts are on the subject and what you do this month with atmosphere and the challenge of confidence. Have confidence in your work, have confidence in yourself, and have confidence in your journey. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I will answer them. I check my comments every day. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.